In this video, we're going to take a look at an important application of percents called simple interest. What interest is, is money that is paid on an investment. Whether that's you investing money in the bank and the bank paying you interest, or the bank investing in you in the form of a loan and you're paying the bank interest, interest is money paid on the investment. And the equation we use to calculate simple interest, one type of interest, is that the interest is equal to the principal times the rate, and then, because the, we make more money the longer the account is open, we also multiply it by time. Now, a couple important points about this formula. Principal, that's the bank word for the starting amount in the account. As always, rate must be written as a decimal. And the new variable in this equation is time, and this is very, very important. Time must be in years must be in years. And again, this equation is sometimes abbreviated I equals PRT, principal times rate times time, just to make it easier to write down. So, for example, if we were looking at a problem such as a bank account that pays 2.1% simple interest, and you invest 3,500 for four years, we want to know how much will you earn and how much is in the account. Well, our equation, Interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. So let's see if we can identify those values. We don't know how much interest is earned, but the principal, the starting amount in the investment, we do know is 3,500. That's what you invested in the account at the beginning. Then we multiply by the rate. The rate is the percent written as a decimal, so 2.1%. Moving the decimal twice is 0.021. 0.021 for the rate, times the time, and it's really important the time is in years. Here we're told for four years, it's in years, so we'll multiply by four. So the amount of interest in the account then is simply 3,500 times 0.021 times four, which is $294. The second question, how much is in the account now? Well, we started with 3,500. We've got an additional 294 in interest. Now, sitting in your account, you have $3,794. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, a bank gives a loan with 4.5% interest for nine months on $12,000. Interest is equal to principal times the rate times time. We want to calculate how much is owed back, so we need to know how much interest is earned on the account. P, the principal, the starting amount is $12,000. R, the rate, is 4.5% as a decimal, 0.045. And T is the time in years. Time is nine months, which means we have a fraction of a year, nine twelfths. And if we divide nine by 12, we get the decimal 0.75. It's 0.75 years. Very important that we change those nine months into years by dividing by 12, because the formula requires it to be in years. 12,000 times 0.045 times 0.75, we have earned in this account $405 in interest. How much is owed back to the bank? Well, you've got to pay back the $12,000. You also have to pay the $405 in interest. So how much is owed the bank at the end of nine months is $12,405. And that's how we can calculate simple interest using the equation price times rate times time, principal times rate times time. Again, it's very important, the rate is a decimal, and the time is in years.